Hi. I can't talk today due pain in my throat due to an infection. Gut meds should be good soon. I'll be doing stats and talking to you all in the chat. Thank you to the Gold Squadron team for helping me out today. Welcome to Gold Squadron Flight Club. Commentating today we have William Haywood and Ryan Staniszewski. I am going to open the Choose Your Champion betting. A quick reminder that the first Galaxy's qualifier is May 1st. There are only 15 lock sets left for the first event. D. 1. 0. N. Out. Alright, thank you. D. Wong. Uh, God, that's uh, so good. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, everyone in the chat's like, and Dion was laughing, like, oh man, he pronounced my name wrong. Bonus, that is the correct way to pronounce my name in Polish. Uh, Shevsky? Stanis Staniszewski is actually oh, correct man. Polish. And if I need a picture of you in a chef's hat that just says Shevsky underneath of it. <laughs> or, <laughs> I'll settle for an apron, I, Brian. I, uh, I am not a good cook. Well, I, I can cook. <laughs> And it doesn't turn out bad, but I cook simple stuff. My wife makes the great stuff. Hey, man, uh, you got you to gotta start at the basics. You'll never get yep. anywhere without the basics. So, all right. Uh, as uh, D1 uh, Zero in hand said, well, welcome to the Flight Club. We have Aaron Smith on our left, your bet one all champion here, flying the Rebel Alliance with Thomas uh, Navarez. Uh, I say with a question mark at the end of his name. Yeah, we're flying Scum and Villainy on your right. He's your bet two all champion. Uh, Ryan, why don't you break down that Rebel list and give us some um, insight into the, the Hera combinations. All right, so let's start with stuff that's like pretty self-contained. We got Wedge in the RZ1 with Prockets and Predator <clears throat> going a little more expensive than I think the standard Wedge, which is just to take Predator, but... That spike damage is there, but cannot be used. Uh, a wedge ability not able to be used on proton rockets, as a little wedgelet is only on primary attacks. And then we have Hera, the ever popular in Rebels right now, also running rockets, but also spending the little minute points in composure. Not bad if the player does not feel really comfortable in a barrel or a boost that they're not sure if it's going to get where they need to go. Composure just says. That's no problem. We'll make sure you get that focus anyway. And then we have Garvin also taking Predator. And then the large amount of upgrades that we have on Kyle Katarn in the Hawk. Also taking Predator. Normally not common on Hawks, but hey, if you, want, if you like rerolls, we got rerolls for you. Uh, Moldy Crow for sure. Uh, thermal Detonators. Hull upgrade. So keep in mind our points threshold, which. As a five health hawk, adding one more hull will not change it. Still needs three to get that threshold, but increases health by one. And then Jin Urso crew. So we are, uh, I'm not sure if this has been on GSP streams before, but we have between Hera and Garvin and Kyle himself passing focuses around. Any of those focuses at any point could be changed with Jin Urso to evade tokens as long as they're within range zero to three of Kyle Katarn. So what's some of the what's some of the interactions there? Um, so oh. Hera can. All right, so I'm trying to think if so here. Let's, so let's, let's, Kyle, let's, go, let's go chronologically, right? So that's Kyle's exactly. Bank, Kyle's banked a couple focuses normally mm -hmm. by turns end, right? Um, so start of engagement, Kyle could pass one tra and transfer one of your focus tokens to a friendly ship in firing arc. So it includes the Moldy Crow and the Mobile Arc. So if Hera is already likely being taken Prockets, has composure just in case, and likes to feed Garvin, Hera could take a focus and Kyle could pass the evade over to Hera. So Hera now is banked evade and focus to share with anyone within range of her ability garvin could uh take a focus as well but probably because of Hera's banking of focus could actually utilize a target lock 
to get the locks necessary for a fully modded attack from an X-Wing, still very effective. Now, in the engagement phase, if Garvin uh, takes a focus from Hera and spends it and passes it back to Hera, at any point of that passing, that token could be turned into an evade if it was passing a focus. Yeah, there's a lot of potential there uh, for uh, shenanigans. And because Hera can wait until uh, we see the dice uh, with the new ruling that's not uh, in any other attacking phase, only when you modify dice um, can she pass that token. So if you need a blank, you can throw a focus and then it becomes an evade. So you essentially threw an evade token. Now she is limited to only one pass per uh, attack. So you got to choose your tokens wisely there. But um, with Garvin and um, Kyle out there, shouldn't be a problem. So we're interested to see those um, interactions. Now, on the other side, though, uh, we have Thomas flying scum. He has uh, Kyle Cartarn, or Kyle Cartarn. Oh, my God. A uh, different hawk. His name's Kanan Jarrett's. Uh, Kanan Jarrus has a force point and the Moldy Crow title um, and has the ability uh, when a ship inside of his mobile arc defends or himself, he can spend that force to reduce the attack. So he trades his, it's kind of a weird way to say it, but he trades his calculate in for a deplete token. Kind of strange. But also has a coordinating um, red coordinate there with Protector Gleb and... Uh, can coordinate and even pass off the stress token if need be. I can even pass off um, any orange or red token. So that could be a lock. Uh, we have Finrau naked out there. Um, and Bosk with Zam, Gamut Key, and Greedo, the new uh, party bus. Um, Thomas has first player here, so Boss is going to start us off. We'll get to more about uh, Key and Zam in a second here, but so good. Yeah, definitely. We've been starting to see Bosks show up with Zam crew for sure. But now with the addition of Gamut Key, make for a very good setup for first engagement. But very early trade on shots, but surprising Garvin went really aggressive early on this, but no problem. We're just going to... Spend a focus on Garvin, and I'm assuming pass it right back to Hera. Yep, so he spends the focus, and then he gives it to Hera, which means he has it. He didn't pass it. I would assume that might have just been, uh, like, a thing, meant a to thing do you it. say. <laughs> a thing you yeah, say, but you just do. assume that's what happened, but we'll, we'll see in a second. I will say, uh, very, very aggressive on Garvin to go for this type of position here. He's setting himself up to uh, not only be in a situation of um, <laughs> being the, a really easy main target, but that rock in front of him means he's not going to have a good way to provide another shot next turn. Yeah, he rolled oh, two dice because of Kanan Jarrus. Yep. There. Um, he got the target lock reroll into an eye, and he did not spend the Hera thing. I wonder if he passed it back to Gar uh, Kyle then. No? Uh, it's only showing one focus. I'm actually kind of surprised Boston spend a full focus either defensively. Probably did, just assumed, because. Mm. Because uh, it, it's not like Zam is going to be triggering anyway to uh, give you an attack. He's going to likely trigger to, uh, you know, give the lock and get the charge up. Yeah. Uh, what? I was waiting for them to finish the round here, but there is some interactions here between um, Gamatki. I'm just going to flip his charges. I'm waiting for it. I was waiting for him to realize that that's a trigger. Um, oh, yeah, he could have decided to save the focus, Gamut Key. Yep, so Zam shouldn't have any charges. So no charges, that's set up. Uh, but he's got to reveal that card. He did defend. Yep. 
So... I'm going to message here. I don't know. Uh, the reveal is a must. I'll, I'll let them know. No way, are you just messaging them personally? Oh, you put it in the thing. Yeah, even if Sam doesn't do anything, you aren't required to reveal it because uh, there's other triggers on reveal, um, such as the bonus attack, that is very important. Yeah. Uh, it was after you defend, you have to gain a charge. So he gets a charge. Yep, gets a charge and should be getting a lock, too. Yep, these are all things that are a must. Uh, we don't normally try to jump in, um, you know, and play the game for the players. Uh, but these are game state issues. So, and uh, I mean, I don't know if Thomas has ever flown Zam before. So, yeah, could be trying it for the first time. Yeah, this, this is, is uh, this is, well, this is just Saturday morning X Wing, right? It's like Saturday morning cartoons. We're here for the fun. Zam, quick tips. Yeah, no. This is uh, oh yeah, <laughs> thank you, uh, thank you, D1. Uh, we do have a new. It's not, I don't think. <laughs> I love how you xed out the quick on it. There is a tips video on uh, Zam. Go check it out on our YouTube, uh, and you can find out all the information. D1 put together a very informative um, video on how Zam's uh, ability works uh, in the conditions. So check that out. Uh, I'll, great work as always. And yeah, Garvin not in the best spot with a rock right in front of him. I literally think the only type of moves he can do without going over that rock are turn maneuvers, which is not turning his is not pointing his arc at enemies, unfortunately. And he moves does, second. So yeah. there's Does not, he just like four forward right into Bosque then? Can that just... might be his safest spot. I, I mean I actually am not a fan of how close Fen Rao is playing to all these ships. He's actually Fen Rao is very susceptible to being blocked or in weird positions, but yeah, see, I, I would have, I would have. If, if Garvin just does a fast maneuver, just to say, I don't care if I land on the rock, as long as I am touching boss, he can't shoot me. <laughs> I mean, you do open yourself up for a multi crow and potentially a range one shot. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yeah, I expected him to bear roll last round, um, but then at the same time, I I expected Fen Rao to take that inside lane there. Mm -hmm. um, on the outside of Bosk. But if Bosk is trying to use that lane, you can't really have Fen Rao there. So, um, yeah. A game, game of positioning. Could definitely be focusing a lot on trying to make sure Kanan is available for either Fen or Bosk. We know if Fen can be obviously almost impenetrable at range one, with Kanan helping that out, it's ridiculously hard, almost to the point where. I personally would save Kanan's charge if it was Fen Rao's uh, defense, if he was defending at range two or three. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that central rock is really, I think, going to mess up both of these squadrons here as we approach the, uh, what I've come to call, uh, in, in no offense, uh, the dishonorable joust. Where you start, it, the dishonorable joust to me is where you just started in two corners and you just fly towards the center of the board, anyways. Yeah, you you, you do straight maneuvers, then you do bank maneuvers, then you do straight maneuvers into each other. <laughs> <All over. laughs> Same I mean, if you meet in the middle of the board, anyways, you might as Still well joust. just deployed. Yeah, you might as well just deployed uh, next to each other, I guess, or across from each other, rather. Yep. Uh, it's it, like I said, it's a ton in cheek uh, thing. Uh, Dion, are you kind of trying to give away something to our patrons? Got some shipping progress for, um, I believe the oh. flight club. Yeah, flight club stuff. Progress. Yeah. Almost, almost a third of the way done with shipping. Yeah. Uh, there was a lot of flight club participants, which we thank all of you for. Um, so it's going to be, uh, and just the wealth of prizes as well. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, so we actually got um, Kanan shifted away, still opening up that side arc to help defense, and Bosk opting, so I guess coordinated Bosk, and then Bosk zero stopped. No, Bosk hasn't moved yet. We're still on threes. 
he coordinated so, a and passed the stress from Gleb. So exactly. Austin probably doing a blue maneuver. There it is. Mm-hmm. So we didn't get a chance to touch on it much, but I don't know if you wanted to go over why Gamut Key on these YV six 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 is backed up by other coordinating platforms or stuff that can put Gleb on it works so well right now. Yeah, so uh, I did not get a chance to when you were breaking down lists because they were doing uh, engagements. But uh, Gamma Key is a new uh, crew. It says at the start of the in end phase, you may spend two charges. Uh, choose a ship at range 0 to 1 with one or more circular tokens. During the end phase, circular tokens are not removed from that ship. So every other round, you could keep your circular tokens. And um, on the YV666 specifically, has that reinforce circular action which is uh so good to set up either a double reinforce or in this case it is a uh reinforce focus and then the target lock from zam last round uh that's about as many modifiers as you can get um for that ship so it really it it changes bosk into being able to um, take multiple actions, uh, which is all he needs. He doesn't need anything but more modifiers, right? Uh, such such a great ship uh, and uh, offensive ability. Um, also, it turns him in, into a support ship if, uh, for some reason, Kanan Jairus goes down. Boss could actually use his Gamut Key on Fen Rao, which I think is a nice touch here. And Fen Rao sneaks in there to line up uh, potential attacks here. Now the overlay is correct here that uh, Thomas is first player. And Wedge came in for the Proton Rocket. And from around, don't care. Shoot nope. Proton Rocket at me. I mean, I'd much rather uh -oh. have that Proton Rocket going into friend round than, say, Bosk. Uh -oh. uh, so we'll see. Uh, Hera, plus better have... get some, Hera better get some evade tokens ready, basically, I think, for this round. Uh, can't, Kyle's got plenty of... I mean, I guess you, you can make it a focus if you want. Oh, boosting into Oh, that. yeah. That's, that's dangerous. You're putting no. Hera in a bad spot. No, you're okay. You gotta shoot them proton rockets. Um, so I do I expect it in a, in I don't take baby. proton rockets on Hera. <laughs> I don't want to force myself to be in this situation. So that's interesting. He passed it to Garvin. I think I would have passed the evade token to Hera, like you said, mm -hmm. um, because you still have all the passing uh, shenanigans. Yeah. All right. Uh, choosing violence here. Well, I, I think the other thing is that if Hera has to spend the focus on defense, Garvin won't have it. So it guarantees Garvin. Uh, uh, we'll have bit. it for sure. That makes sense. That makes sense. So, but overall, uh, pretty aggressive start. Actually, you know, Garvin fit the one bank. I wasn't. He did fit the one bank. He did fit the one Come bank, out. but man, that that Garvin might end up being a, a dead Garvin. You just got to hope you trade really well. Although, no full charges on Zam, so Wedge. not going to get that second shot. And there is you're not some, doing any um, good back there. Props and notice to be mentioned that if you go this aggressive against a Zam crew carrier. If you get past a ship like a YV-66 early enough, you're not going to have to worry about that second shot. Mm -hmm. So we have, this is Fen Rao attacking one of the A-Wings. Uh, hard to say which one. But he is going to spend his focus. There's no Fearless or anything, no Predator on Fen Rao. Yep. So I feel pretty to safe spend to spend focus. that focus, because that's going to guarantee at least the damage. Oh, okay. but... Let's see, what, depending um, on the, the mod used, we'll see which ship went into Wedge. That's interesting. I would have threatened Hera mm, probably more. Yeah, I think I would shoot that Proton Rocket versus... Uh... Oh, yeah, I'm definitely using Hera's Proton Rocket on Boss. Because now that's why I thought Fen shooting at Hera is going to be better because it gets her Proton Rocket away from Bosk, potentially, if she has to spend it defensively. And you're mm -hmm. less concerned about Wedge in the long run of the game, I think. Now Wedge can just decide to shoot at Bosk, and he'll have no agility. He'll just basically yeah. just be the reinforce it, in the front. Yeah, maybe, and maybe that's the thought process of, like, you may not want to 
Uh, hold on. Uh, let me. Oh, they're measuring. So Prockets, uh, so the, the attack arc is obstructed. They want to make sure whether or not it's obstructed if it's a Procket shot. Hold on. I, I was jumping and tell them to, how to do it. I think there's a special hotkey that can check for ranges only within bullseyes, which is what we're going to look. Because you measure things like obstruction for these special attacks specifically just for their arcs printed, and because Proton Rocket's a bullseye, you measure only for the bullseye. Yep. So they, they forgot about, uh, or, or didn't know, um, that you can choose just the bullseye arc from your dial, um, because that is the official arc of the Proton Rocket, and it would cover up any questions of obstructions or not so two blanks two crits and a focus for Hera uh, Venral's already shot and uh, we know that the, the shots can be obstructed back from Bosk so and Bosk already has a lock on Garvin so I'm pretty safe if I were to say you know Hera go ahead and use your use your lock it's only going to still be two damage because of the reinforce one thing the chat did mention if Garvin shoots before Wedge Wedge can still get that focus back that's true. Oh, yeah. All oh, the interactions, man. I love it. I know. All right. So we have uh, we have the you should thank me, obviously, uh, to get a free lock and or charge. Um, I think he's probably just going to keep his lock on Garvin. That would make the most sense. Yeah, I think. Only having. Uh, so Buzzy, Buzzy Serp. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Let's say separating out the shots right now. I mean, he could move the lock off of Bosk to say Wedge, or off of Garvin to Wedge. Wedge is definitely vulnerable well, at this point. You have to lock. Garvin, you have to lock the attacker. So, oh, is it lock the attacker? I thought it was you just acquire a lock. No, you're thinking of the, the bonus attacker. arc. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You're thinking of the bonus arc, or the bonus attack in the end phase there. So, um. But anyways, uh, no, it wasn't actually Buzzy. It was Sojourner um, referencing Greedo. Uh, now, Greedo only flips as a note when the when Bosk uses it. It will be active for all of the other attacks. Mm -hmm. um, but as Hera is the only one who attacks before Bosk does, it will be always active for Hera. So we are, we are definitely expecting some serious damage in coming into Carvin. Yep. <laughs> so that's about how that would look. Yeah. Two crits, one hit, one eye. So you can Greedo by flipping the charge to get the third crit. And then you could spend the focus uh, as well. So opting for the target lock, probably to see if you can save the focus. But I think that was too greedy. You just got to go that's, on the that's, offense. That's greedy there for sure. Uh, gotta spin that Greedo charge. Got to. Don't let the opponents use your Greedo. There it is. So three, uh, so three crits. That guarantees two damage with the Bosk split. Uh, remember, when Bosk uh, performs a primary attack um, after the neutralized result step, so any uncancelled crits could be split. One of those crits could be split into two hits, and we'll see that happen right here. So two natural evades from Garvin. And he's going to split that single crit that goes through into two hits. Drops both shields off of Garvin. Yeah, that... Bosk is not meant... I mean, sure, you have Gamut Key. You'd like to hold a focus uh, for next turn. But I think he forced think that too the, much. I think that's the thought process there. Because he's going to just stop next turn. He wants to reinforce and circular token... Or all circular tokens available. Yeah. but I know yeah. what you're saying, though. I would have much rather just smashed a a crit oh. through on Garvin instead. Yeah, because when you have Bosk and Greedo and he only, and Garvin only has two defense tokens, you're guaranteed to half Garvin. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> All right, so we do have Garvin here. Range one, he was Kanan Jarist there. Uh, so only three dice, range one. Uh, he's going to spend the focus, give it to Wedge um, for the Proton Rocket Potential, or just to modify his dice if he wants to shoot at Bosk. Mm -hmm. um, Bosk rolls a eyeball. He's in that same position now. He saved it for this thing because he could take only a single damage yep. um, from the focus and the reinforce. How greedy are you getting, Bosk? I think you do it because yeah, there's yeah. not a guarantee that you have a shot next round. I mean, you probably will because, like, where is Kyle going to go? 
Um, but yeah, yeah I, been... I, I, I see a strong chance of uh, Kanan using Gleb to coordinate Bosk next turn, and then uh, and then you know you get the focus anyway, right? So. Yep. So I was able to uh, takes just a single damage there. Oh, not not, not thirty three. Um, <laughs> did, not, did not take 33 damage for that attack which would be cool Bosk only took two earlier he he took a no he didn't take a damage either so Wedge took one damage yes, from I guess Let's see. All right, so this is this is the proton rocket into Fen. Yeah, mm -hmm. has to be. Yep, got uh, three there with yeah, the so focus Fen, modifier. Fen doesn't have a focus defensively, so that does help the potential odds. But you're still rolling three dice with Concordia. I think Fen might take one. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. We'll see what he defends at. Uh, oh, this no, is it's, not a wedge. It's it's wedge lit. Not, Wedge not, not, not a primary attack. Nope, you still get your dice. Yep. Mm, still dice. I'm gonna remind him. Wedge. A. I'm oh. past your typer. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to be quiet when I type, all right? Sometimes my mic picks it up. <laughs> oh, oh, we can hear it. Oh, we can hear it. That's okay. Did Boss receive a hit from the first government engagement? I don't think so. I thought he did, because he could have spent the focus defensively, and he didn't to save it, I think. I don't... No, you know, you're right. It was it was one-to-one. -one, I think. No, no, he definitely took the damage. Because it was one-to-one. It was two-to-one, because Garvin spent the focus for two. And you also have to remember, Hera... Oh. Um, Harris Prockets was also a thing that hit hit Bosk earlier too. Yeah, yeah, it was it was one damage the first round. It was two to one, and he wasn't evading. He just said focused. So so yep, Fen takes one. Mm hmm. A um, little bit of a spaghetti factory there, and he is able to um, get the extra evade. And I think we have couple more shots here but my my opinion on that is ryan if i had a ship that had two evades and a focus would you spend the focus offensively two evades and a focus mm -hmm. are you talking so what's the ship in general just a ship in general you got two evades and a focus and you need the focus for offense you spend it right uh, uh yeah yes because that, that's how I feel about Concordia. Of like, Fenrath's in there with two evades or so. Uh, conditional evades, but... Um, we have a three dice attack from the turret? That doesn't make sense. That should be only two dice. Three? Oh, it's oh. not supposed to be a heart. That was supposed to be a question mark. Oh, no, I think that was... No, that... No, yeah, that, that, that definitely came from the scum player. Well, I uh... mean... I don't know. It missed anyway, so yeah. it doesn't matter. <laughs> Who cares? Um, we'll correct it when it matters. Um, I think it was just a miscalculation of Moldy Crow on there. All right, so speaking of Moldy Crow, here's a real three dice from a hawk going into Fen Rao, I can only assume. To range two or range three? Yep, move that in the box and re-roll. Not a lot it of damage was, coming from the Hawks. It was uh, range three, so don't matter. I didn't need that range bonus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I think we're on to the next round. Uh, I think it is worth note, the boss ship still has a stress on it. I'm going to go make sure yeah, that that should I'm, be the state because... He, he did the right blue maneuver, which that shouldn't be there. That's correct. Uh, we'll see if he needs to gamut. Yeah, just let him know that. Boss cleared stress. Thank you. Okay. 
And why is there stress from Fenrir? Oh, because he boosted. That was a boost. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I'm surprised he didn't use Gamma just to keep the reinforce. I don't know what else he's going to be keeping. I think he's. Uh, I think once he spent the. Um, I think once he spent the focus, he was trying to save it for Fenrir. But I guess Fenrir spent it on offense, though. So. Yeah. I mean, hey, there's a, it's Saturday morning, and there's a lot of interactions with these cards, so. For sure. <laughs> I can't I can't blame them. Uh, so oh, for, for anyone watching right now, um, I think that there are some cards and some interactions people try to maximize too much. And, and we don't know. Like Will said, there's a lot of interactions may have just forgotten that Gamut Key could be used to just hold on to that reinforce for boss for one turn. But um, I think... Uh, even just the one bonus of ha holding one circular token is still really good. That's like a coordinate, basically, for next turn. Because I'm, I'm my guess yeah. is, is Kanan does a two-turn, least points the front arc towards the enemies, and that side arc could still be point at Bosk, will coordinate Bosk, he'll zero stop, and just be a threat in the middle of that area. Uh, blocking up anyone who moves. Hera won't have. Hera does not have many places to go unless she just leaves. But good thing her ability is still going to be in effect for most of her friends. Well, Fenrir actually has to move before Hera, so I think actually uh, Fenrir is in a tougher spot than she is to maneuver past her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if if played correctly, that Kane, uh, that Kyle Katarn could one bank and slot himself right in behind those two A wings and really threaten Fenrau's position. I mean, you're also, you know, five dice attack potentially as well. Mm, if he bumps into Hera, I guess. But I do like the I do like the turn in from Kanan here, and then the coordinate. I think that's really um, powerful. Um, it's a combination we've seen a lot. I actually, I'll, I really like this list, uh, by the way. The combination of these three pilots, uh, Bosk, uh, Kanan, and Fenrir. You have a lot of flexibility in uh, w what you can do with them. Um, I, mean, I was thinking about flying it, but uh, I keep looking at it in elimination, and I was like, ah, no, Zam, worthless. Get it out of here. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so, so Sam has really now, like, made Vosk uh, so good. Or any YV, really. I still like lots really of any, too. I mean, really anybody. Uh, yeah. Ooh, lot, yeah, lots would like the free locks. Just not mm -hmm. not going to deny them. Yeah, imagine this turn. I mean, so Bosk obviously is great at doing extra damage, but imagine this turn upcoming. If lots just had a lock on someone, so many of those rebels would need to really disengage hard to not have that threat of the spend lock and tractor. But that's that's a whole nother pilot. Bosk is the one here right now and threatening a ton of damage if any of those rebel ships stay in his front arc because now Zam is fully charged. Yeah, it looks like we have uh, Jack B posted a combination of uh, Kanan, Bosk, and a... Uh, R5TK weapons failure Dengar. I've also looked at that, and it's also really good. Uh, I think we'll see these these types of archetypes as long as Zam uh, continues to be cheap. Uh, we will see that uh, more and more often. Kanan elected not to hard turn in, keeping just a bit of a wide breath there. Um, what if he saw the two turn might clip the rock? It would it would have been close, but I think he would have been safe. It, yeah. it does it does potentially threaten uh, Garvin trying to do a four K though. Mm, okay, big might have been uh, big brain in it here. I mean, your optimum maneuver is also what your opponent sees as your optimum maneuver as well, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> So you always got to factor that in. Yep. All right, so Kyle, obviously coming up. The zero stop. Kyle did the one bank. So not mm -hmm. many places for a friend to go unless Fen leaves. 
Ooh, this this could be a bad indication here. If he didn't expect boss, if boss to zero stop, Wedge already bumping, and we'll have to see what Harry. I mean, does. Wedge Wedge had really limited options to keep shooting here. Well, we did do the 4K. Okay. Ah, oh, but Ooh, it fits. It fits. It fits. But man, if Garfield shoots Bosk, Boss is gonna have two shots. Kyle's gonna have a shot on Garvin. Garvin could probably die this turn. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, uh, Boss shoots before Garvin, so you, you won't have the lock, the Zam lock. Uh, you'll be able to shoot twice with Zam, though. Oh, yeah, depending on what card was chosen. It could be yeah, better mean business, Garvin. Yeah, it looks like Fen uh, just did the two straight. Basically occupied the space that Wedge was in. Wedge couldn't be there unless Wedge just decided <laughs> to try and bump Fen, but Fen would hop over with the two straight. Yeah, it'd be a goofy snare here. I think he still has arc on that, Kyle. So, yeah, focus up, man. Looks Take like it. Shot. Front arc shot. Don't even bother stressing. No. That's going to be pretty good. We cleared the stress, so. Oddly enough, Wedge really safe. Oh, see, that's Ooh. what I was worried about. Oh, yeah. Harry came in. <laughs> Harry came in for the shot, and she's going to be on the rock, rolls it on the table. Yep. This this Takes is one hit. of the situations where you just got to be like, Hera, you don't need your shot. We need your token. Please, two turn yeah. or two bank away and live. <laughs> right. That is not how Hera lives. Yeah, see, I'm, I've been flying a lot of the turrets lately, and I would have, yeah, just rotate turret, hard turn out. I'm like, let's part. I really like the turrets. They're so, so good. Here's where Kyle can come into play. You pass it. I would pass it to Hera still. Even though Hera doesn't have a shot, you pass it to Hera because she can pass it to Garvin whenever you whenever you want. Now boss can shoot Hera unmodded. Yeah, boss shoots first. I think you're right there. Is it bait? We'll find out. Because Hera already shot a Proton Racker, right? Yep. And she's worth less than Garvin. Not by much. Yeah, say so not by much. I was going <laughs> to say her, her effect on the squad is probably worth a lot more than Garvin. <laughs> All right, Finn Rao. Starting us off here. Um, Counts the dice one at a time here. There's the range, or there's the three dice printed, range one. And row. And row. I don't say it's removing stress tokens. Hey, it's not his place. Oh, I thought it was going to be three crits there. Um, so do you spend and guarantee the crit through? Uh, I would just because, well, let's see. You're not actually gaining many points. No, nah, I yeah, won't. I, I won't. Leave your focus for evade. Um, oh, and he blanks out. Oh, it could have been <laughs> under the shields. Oh, man. Hindsight. 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 Can I, I want a pilot. Uh, now that I've seen Harrow move, I want a pilot that uh, modifies his dice after the defense rolls. Man, that would be a, a amazing ability. Being like, oh, like I will spend that He modifies focus. the offensive dice after the defense rolls? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I would want that to be a low initiative pilot. <laughs> <laughs> I, do well, want, probably. I do not want high initiative much more information. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll give it a mind zero or something. Uh, like a... Uh, uh, it'd probably be a Jedi. So if you're boss, do you just dump, as me dump it into Hera since she's... But she's uh, not shooting, though, and Garvin is. So I think you go into Hera, though, yeah. I think you can go into Hera. You don't have any mods, right? You just have your one. Well, you have your focus. I think you go into Hera. Uh, you could kill her if you just put uh, two a hit and crit through. You can split the crit and just kill her right now. Yeah, you don't have the rerolls, but you don't have a reroll either way between Garvin and Hera. Yeah, I. I think you go for Hera for sure, hundred percent. But. As we talked about, Garvin is probably going to shoot Bosk. So you mm. potentially are more likely to kill Bosk, or sorry, kill Garvin between Kanan shooting and Bosk shooting twice. Yeah, you're not wrong. Hard decisions here. I wonder if uh, I wonder if Garvin won't shoot at Bosk then. 
if he knows if he has a sneak hey, if that's how it goes i'll take it i guess so this is into garvin oh that's a good oh one. yeah oh yeah spin the focus, focus. spin the focus get your greedo get the greedo crit greedo crit it's the whole build eight <laughs> eight there we go oh man Bosk. all right spin the greedo right. charge he's putting in hit uh he's putting in three like guarantee three if, if there's one blank uh, that's a dead oh, guard. dead guard! Wow, wow, Bosk. Now you just don't even shoot back, right? Oh no, not 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 two. Rip. Yeah, but it's basically oh, he, he's just getting rid of the crit and showing two up. Yep. Mhm. Mm that's exactly how it works. Well, not quite. I mean, it's ugh, it's after neutralize, so you take all all the canceled results or whatever, but. I, it, it just don't want to give the impression that you split the crit before you compare results. Uh, it's a common mi uh, mistake if, say, it's one crit to one evade, that mm -hmm. you could split the crit into two hits so one goes through. Not the case. So the funny part is we talked about how if Garvin, uh, like, theoretically lives past the first shot, or, like, maybe he just tries not to shoot boss because he knows Zam is there. He's oh, dead no. now. He's like, I'm just going to yeah. shoot you anyway. <laughs> Yep, we have a force charge spinacher there. Use yep. Three use. dice range one. Two crits. Uh, lock. There is a lock. Yeah, that's a dead ship with yep, a lock. So we need to use it. Yeah, he has a lock. Yeah, let him uh, lose, let him use the lock. Uh, I don't know if he doesn't see it. It's pretty 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 well notice noticeable. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, okay. I mean, there there was a, um, what do I say? In my uh local play group, we allow, uh, we always allow in casual games or semi competitive or whatever, however you want to say. It, we always allow one mulligan. You know what I mean? One thing I'm just like, yeah, you shouldn't two bank there, go two forward instead or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, so that the, um. That kind of grace period may have passed for these players as they get into the scrum now. Oh, now Dion telling him lock under boss. Aaron said did not see it. We'll see if he decides to walk it back or just say, you know what, that was my mistake. Yep, he's just going with my mistake. Oh nope, actually we're rolling the blank. Yeah, Thomas, Thomas uh, letting him here. Oh, oh, and that's that's karma. It was meant to be. That's karma, man. That's every every time you you, uh, it's karma for the player who's like, yeah, you could do it, man. I don't care. Oh, it didn't matter. Cool. I, I feel better. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> like you get you get to be the good guy and get no additional penalties. Fantastic. Sad part um, is Garvin never got to spend his focus to pass it over to Wedge. That's why I was like, man, Kyle should have passed it over to Hera. Hera could have given it to anyone. Because mm -hmm. now Wedge could have it for this Punished shot, which by is the dice go gods. Uh, I don't know how it's only one dice. Because Kanan already used it on... Kanan already used his ability on Bosk against Garvin. Oh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump in there. Yeah, Will's going to go make sure uh, that Wedge gets to roll all the dice. Uh, Zam could trigger, but Garvin's dead. So uh, Garvin should be off the board at this point. Um, so there'd be no reason for Bosk to use uh, the Zam trigger for shooting back when uh, there's a dead Garvin there anyway. What voice is Dasmo83? Wedge fixing the roll. Got two crits for it. Oof. Uh, yeah, it was just a mistake. He forgot he spent it on uh, the boss defense here. So, are we rolling the right amount of defense dice? Oh man, I don't wedge wanna, ability. <laughs> I don't want to jump back in there and just keep correcting them. So, whatever it says, there it takes the damage. Whatever. Moving on. Like I said, I can't fault these guys. They <laughs> they seemed they were laughing when I jumped into the the room. So they're having a good time, and that's really that's all good that at least. There's a lot of triggers though. Welcome, welcome to the second edition. 
Oof. I think we do want to fix this though. That the the hawk yes. side arc. Oh, all right, cool. No, it is. They, they are. Aaron is reminding him that the side arc is only two, and the front arc gets the three. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everyone's got to yeah. learn. Hey, man, no, we're here to learn. Uh, it, yep. Trust me, uh, if you're watching this, uh, take, no, no, I mean, don't literally take notes, but take mental notes um, for the future take, games. I mean, realistically, like, we were all here at, the, at some point. Yeah, no, yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, spends it uh, for two, I think it was. Yep, spends this for two. Um, Gets one into Wedge or Hair, I believe. That was into Wedge. wedge. Yep. Decided because Wedge is at range two, easier to hit on Mata than Hair at range three. Yeah. Yeah, so like I said, yeah, chat. <laughs> Don't give these players a hard time. We're all here to learn. Not that you guys were. Um, so Kyle finishing up the round here. Ooh, gets a front arc shot into Bosk. I want to be careful because, I mean... Nah, he's going for fin round. I would shoot at boss too, but... I mean, so there's the Zam you had to think about too, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't even think I spend a focus on this, but he's going to, and Fen's probably going to block all shots. The, the upside the upside is so good, though. Uh, sinking that crit through, and he does! Wow, it actually cut the crit. So Matt, a little bit... A little bit, <laughs> a little bit of spaghetti factor here. Take damage! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the Concordia uh, into evade, uh, then spend the focus, and he takes just How one. How sad is Fen? Fuel leak. That's kind of sad, but could be um, actually. Yeah, there's no like automatic crit generations, and a lot of these rebel pilots like taking focuses, so yeah. even less likely to get crits there. Definitely much better than if he got. Oh, he also had Predator. Oh man. Oh, he could right. He forgot Predator. Oof. Yeah, I, wow. I even talked about it earlier. I was like, man, I don't know if I'd ever put a Predator on a Hawk. <laughs> we no. could have rerolled that dice. I mean, I'm not going to tell him about that. That's no, no. That's your own, that's your own problem. So that's that a may. <laughs> uh, there is a must that we need to take care of, though. Uh, Fen should be stressed. Yeah, that's that's true. He didn't. Especially for going into their dial phase. Yeah, that's important. They need to know that. Man, yeah, for Corey, because there is still a, uh, I think, well, if Kanan could clear his stress. Um, Kanan's in a weird spot could... to clear that for sure. <sighs> I think he's but just. But you know turning. what? I don't know if you. Does a two turn? Two turn fits, right? Yeah. 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 Do the two turn, point at some A wings. Maybe Wedge will just bump into you anyway. Who cares? But where? So where do you think Boss goes? I mean, you just, ooh, actually, I was going to say you just, like, self-bump yourself, but you might actually make that one bank. Oh, but what about the self-bump if you two-turn Kanan and then boost him in front of Bosk and then bump into Kanan? Uh, Kanan can't clear the stress with a hard two. Oh, that's right. Can't boost because of stress. Oh! Sad. <laughs> yep. Would a two turn put Kanan? No, I wouldn't put Kanan far enough in front of Boss so Boss can do a one straight bump. But Boss is Boss is still safe to do a one straight. You're just not in a good spot defensively or offensively, really. Yeah, because because Kyle's moving up. And that's why I want I want to figure out a way to self block, but you really can't. You can't risk the one bank towards the rock because that probably fits actually. So we'll see. We'll see what the puzzle is. I mean, Bosk is just out there to be just the literal tank, right? Like, just please yeah. shoot at him over my five health, two agility, overpriced chip. Now, <laughs> Maybe here, not overpriced, but very expensive. Here comes the fun part of the game where we play. Did we remember? Does the does the Kyle Katarn player remember they have thermal detonators? And does Fen Rao remember Kyle Katarn has thermal detonators? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Oof, that Kyle's been spicy all game, and he's sneaking his way into the end game here. Just I, I, oh, I'm dropping. I'm dropping a thermal for sure. I think I'm dropping 100%. just the one close just, one. Just one. Yep. Yeah, the one forwarded. Then use three bank. 
mm -hmm. over him. Fen. And with that three bank, that means even if Fen turns down the correct direction away from the bombs, what you're threatening is now that three bank still puts bombs behind him next turn that would threaten Fenrir out trying to come back into the fight. Exactly. Yeah, I think we're going to see uh, basically a convergence onto Kane and Hawk, which could be could be justification for him to one bank away. But those A wings are coming. They got nowhere else to go, right? Mm -hmm. Like no, so three the forward, two Kanan's bank. Kane's ability whatever. is uh, it does still work on himself. Granted, you won't be able to mm -hmm. use the ability on Bosk likely if. He does a two turn because then you can't change his arc facing for the mobile arc. All right. Do we have system phase? Oh, we got a bomb. I was putting All out. Right. Oh, that's aggressive. Very aggressive. I mean, you have you have no downside though, right? Other than you lose a couple bomb charges, but like, if oh man, if Finral forgot about it though, oof. Probably he's got nowhere. Bombs. Yep. Yeah, he's got nowhere to go. Maybe bear roll back in into your range one shot in front of a rock. Like, okay, Finral, you're welcome to do so. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> yeah, feel free. Uh, turn. There it is. Nice. Didn't hit the rock either. He could one bank towards Kanan. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, I thought about that, but I. It's risky. That that was the self bump that uh, I was looking for. Kyle Katarn, getting those focuses back up. All right, Bosk, what'd you do? What'd you do, Bosk? What'd you do? He might bump in a matter where like he can't angle the back half of his ship well enough. Yeah, not too nice. much. I like it. Nicely done. Uh, that was like I said. You got to get that self bump to keep your arc back, but he still won't have a shot though. But it he is just blocking. If, like, if if Wedge did a straight maneuver that goes past Bosk, that that side arc probably nails him on the other side of it. Oh, nope, well, he's a loop. Swoop. Yeah, that, I'm. I feel like we're. I'm expecting a K turn, a five K from here here as well. Then, you know what I mean. If he did the sloop. So yeah, knowing that he did the sloop, he probably did the five K as someone who likes tokens i would have just done a straight maneuver disengage and give tokens to my friends you got kyle though oh kyle. no oh, <laughs> oh no ben. Oh, no, ben. He forgot about the bombs and there's two of them ah, um buddy. you can't mitigate almost anything from that i think you just barrel back take a focus and go, just boom. give yourself some room next turn and pray the dice let you live that's it you could you, you can't you can't get out of the second one unless you bear roll backwards towards the rock and it, uh, that should fit i i maybe you just do that yeah i guess it's like it's better than you could like k turn you. yeah you're not getting a shot boom, either boom. way if you boost Let you might you have a long range shot on Ayo. wedge but i don't think you would it would be close it would be close um yeah, tough decisions here for the scum. You either so well so in your case, if you're the Fenrau player, do you just say I'm going to barrel towards the rock and I'm more likely to live? Or do you feel the game state's in a situation where you need to take risks and barrel fen to the left? giving yourself space next turn and just saying, I will, whatever happens with the dice happens, I need to get better positional situation if I'm going to continue this game anyway. I, I would consider, like, Fenrir's unlikely to die. He is going to get, you know, likely to take damage. Well, remember, he, for he does have fuel leak, so even if one crit goes Oof. through... Oh, you're right. Hit crit does kill him. Wow, I didn't consider that. Uh, yeah, I would have barreled backwards, but... Um, I think the I think I would be more con concerned about uh, uh, just where Bosk is going next round. He, he's got to find a way to get the, that Archon target. He he's got the the biggest gun. So yep. 
Terra bumped into boss with the two banks. So not a lot of modded shots going for the rebels this turn, but has the thermal detonators and no one's getting shot by Bosk. You can just mm -hmm. pass the token to Hera. Hera's, Hera can give it to anyone you need. Yep, I 100% agree. That's the, the combination. And so let's say you're even, like no one's spent a focus and you're all the way down to Kyle. That's that's another wrinkle to this type of list. Mm, Kyle didn't is, spend it. I'm, I'm so interested in what... Is, uh, if, if it's you wrong, to Hera, but... and then Kyle's the last thing to shoot or defend in your list, Hera could just pass it to Kyle even if he doesn't need it because he can bank it with Moldy Crow. Right? That would be my thought process, is you always sling a token to Hera. Yep. So wedge Bombs. three into zero into Bosk. Bombs. Don't roll that attack. But use Kanan. Wait, does Kanan work at range zero? Boom, yes, boom. it's an arc. Works. Let me hear you Ed say Ayo. Yeah, Ayo. arc is zero. Zero to three. Two bombs. Both hit. Oof. Oof. So roll some dice. Uh, yeah, it looks like the barrel backwards wouldn't have helped him either. So That's the crit. It kills him with the fuel leak. So... Ben's just yeah. <laughs> he took he took two. He took hit crit from that. He dead. Attack? No, he has fuel leak. He took a crit first, so he's gonna get two damage. And he took two <laughs> <crits> anyway. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Fun row. So one crit goes down, then deals the face down from fuel he leak, dead. and then takes the fuel other crit. leak. Oh. Sad ship. I thought he had just OMG. just the fuel leak on him. I thought uh, I forgot he got nicked by the proton rocket earlier. Yep. So then here's the so this is the face down from fuel leak, and then we get the actual crit from the other bomb. Wow. Fen off the board. Wow. That one mistake. Uh, one one mistake of forgetting that uh, that Kyle is worth. 59 points and has a lot of upgrades on him. That's almost as much as Jan Ors with Multi Crow. Yeah. Well, Jan Ors doesn't have bombs and isn't throwing tokens around. But it is, uh, as a note, Kyle's only a 31 point ship, so he's got 28 points of upgrades on him. Wow. <laughs> well, so Multi Crow is 16. Yeah, I mean. And actually, everything else is pretty cheap, even for how many upgrades there are. There's not one upgrade over. Th uh, Hall is the most expensive at five, right? For two agility, or is it six? It's five on two agility. Five on two agility. Okay. All right. Well, we're getting back into attacks now. Um, uh, Kyle, pretty much, uh, pretty much single-handedly killed Fen Rao there. Pretty impressive. Good on you, Kyle. Man, I'm glad. I'm so glad to see Kyle back in the meta. <sighs> what a, I mean, what an underutilized ship for so long. It could be pretty good when we're looking at how we could not only see situations to help feed Hera tokens that she wants, but on top of that, like I mentioned, you have a focus left over at the end of the round. Just pass it to Kyle. He'll bank it. Save it for next round. So there there was a attack, but there wasn't any, I don't know what's going on here. Thank you, oh, we're preventing we're preventing the range bonus or preventing yep. the extra dice before wedge rolls. Have to check yep. the mobile arc. That's how. Uh, oh no, this is actually Kanan. Kanan, this is Kanan's shot. Wedge did already take his shot earlier. I think before the bombs went off, and they've resolved that. Oh, okay. I think. I don't think he rolled any results. Was really the yeah or hit results. So I don't think it really correct mattered. if. Hera would have had to focus to pass over, may have had a result and guaranteed damage on the boss. But there is a dead fen anyway. Yeah, so the rebels have already won this round. Um, this is a dead wedge. Could have really used that Hera focus. Yep. Wow. I'm telling I mean, you, man. If you got Kyle and Hera, pass the token to Hera. Hera should always have a token. Yeah. Well, these are. Uh, these are the these are the lessons easier to um what do I want to okay. say easier to or uh, I want to say easier it feels better to see the mistakes so you don't do them later viewers 
see what yep. is happening when you don't pass that token to Hera. Uh, I hope they remember that Kyle gets or Kyle gets to engage. Like I don't think Kyle shot. Uh, Kanan shoots before Kyle. But if they start doing yeah, dials, they've already started flipping dials. I don't know what's the scum player. Let's yeah, see. Give, give them a ding, Dion. They gotta, they gotta, they gotta engage here. Kyle gets a nice range one with a focus token. Oh, they're getting dice out. No, that's that's all, Dion. <laughs> <laughs> like, please shoot. <laughs> God, feel the wrath of D one zero. You get D one gave gave him the three dice to suggest to shoot at Bosk as well. Oh, okay, Kyle. Okay. All right, so trades Wedge for three damage, potentially three damage on Bosk. It is three. It is. It's that, that should put that. Has Bosk been at half? Let's see. One, two. He's got 12 health. He's taken three. Yeah, he already been at half. So Bosk is being whittled down at this point to his final amount. We got four mm, cards already on. He's taken three more. He's got two more health left on that Bosk and not really pointing at anything. So that side arc of um kyle could easily finish it off hera doing a one turn there's not many places kanan in the hawk can go either with bosk in his way mm -hmm. bosk has one two three four five six seven eight cards on him that puts him just no seven just seven he had four now he takes three more that's seven mm -hmm. um Yep, so he's got just two remaining for the overlay. <laughs> so does Kanan fit a one bank to the right to clear the stress and self-bump Bosk again? Yeah, these bishops got nowhere to go. <laughs> I don't know. It's like Wedge is going to bump if Bosk stays there. So neat. Yeah, uh, Bosk could hard three, but you're not going to get shots. Ugh, this is always the problem with the Bosk. Oh, and I think that... What is on yeah, what's, That's right. Yeah, this is always the problem with uh, ships that don't have K-turns and these big arcs like this, is that you need to choose the moment you turn in um, to start the circle. You want to hug the board edge for as long as possible So and try to utilize that super arc. I don't know if you noticed, but Bosk has only been taking front arc shots this entire game, not <laughs> utilizing that super arc. Well, I guess he did use it last turn when he killed Garvin. Fair enough. Yeah, it's but. still a threat. We haven't seen Zam crew because no one else has needed has like taken a shot on Boss that could be shot back at. And on top mm -hmm. of that, so we do know that the scum player, uh, being Thomas, is first mm -hmm. player. I think right. this is a good exercise to look at turn zero that biggest rock should have not been in the middle of the map no 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 do not put uh and then bosk also deployed on that side as well so he deployed uh, on the side with the less gas clouds that's another turn zero thing to look at so mm -hmm. already kind of set yourself up in a weird situation now you boss could deploy on that side if he pointed down his board edge not up the side board edge i think mm-hmm no, I, I agree. It, and it's, they're not easy to fly. I mean, it looks like they're easy because they just kind of like lumber around or whatever. But like to continue to get shots every round, it is very difficult um, with these unmaneuverable ships, especially a large base ship, too, where, oh, you're crashing in the rocks and whatever. Like it just has to happen sometimes. Now, Boss does have the ion regulator damage or whatever that's called. The Sable Power Regulator. Sable he already took one regulator. eye on last turn. Mm -hmm. Yep, when he engaged this round. So uh, keep an eye out for that. If he survives for a couple more rounds, he will have to do a one forward. Jeff Wilder subscribed with his Prime. Good morning to you, Jeff. Um, thank you for your 31 months. That's amazing, Jeff. Thank you very much. Uh, of course, everybody with Amazon Prime. Uh, you can follow the directions with exclamation point prime and figure out, find out how to get a free subscription. And of course, uh, got to shout out uh, Kuat Print Yarns, 15% off uh, with your the code GSP. Uh, get all your X-Wing uh, 
swag <laughs> accessories, whatever you want to call it, uh, from Cooperate and Yards. They have amazing, I like their token holders. Um, and then uh, obviously their, their tournament boxes are the most popular. Get all your ships um, when we're back into in-person. Get a beautiful uh, box there for them. It looks like we have Bosk cutting in. He says, nah, I'm, nah fam, I'm done blocking. Like, I want to shoot at some point in time. <laughs> Probably just reinforces the rear at this point. Yeah, because then you could Gaumont. We haven't seen Gaumont triggered. Um, no, cho choosing to flip the wounded pilot, though. Yeah, that's fair. Because you don't want to be stressed here. Oh, hi, Hera. I, mean, I, I, guess you, I guess you could, but... I think you just, just focus boost with Hera, give Hera a shot on Bosk? I would think so. Nah, it's Kanan's time now. <laughs> Taking yeah, the block. Sorry. That's no. really aggressive. No, I mean, because you're going to sling the focus, right? You guys only have to roll defense once. I, I think I know what you're saying. Of like, you should probably take the evade. But uh it'll be fine uh double uh <laughs> it is time to do damage and you're only gonna have a total of four dice so you need all the modifiers you could get mm -hmm. uh denies the range one bonus with the canaan ability oh blanks out oh, there's the lock Gets hey it. It the focus to, to give or use herself yep okay uh, Kanan's got to decide he's getting down to just one focus still. Spend coming. the focus while you got it so you don't take a crit. <laughs> you have one shield left. Oh, he did get nicked on a shield as well, didn't he? Mm -hmm. No? He did. Uh, so now he has uh, no shields. Uh, Dion, uh, reminding us of the dial covers that uh, Kuant Print Yarns is making for Galaxies. You got the little GSP logo on them. Uh, they look amazing. Get your GSP dial covers. Or wait, is the GSP only giveaways, or are they selling those as well? We'll find out, Dion. Uh, oh, it's for the planets. That's right. All right, so three hits here. And Hera's just uh, saying no. Nope. <laughs> That, that was the... a front arc, front arc shot from Moldy Crow into Hera, Hera having the focus token defensively while there were actually no offensive modifiers for Kanan. So that was slightly above average for Kanan, but still a shot that you take. So do y'all mentioning uh, Kuat has made the GSP ones before, but specifically the planets uh, that Kuat's uh, making. Uh, super cool. And we got last attack here. Kyle shoots just one hit into Kanan. You blanks out. Gets the half. Half points. So we got two health left on Kanan and two health left on Bosk against a three health Hera and a three health Kyle. Four health. Hull upgrade. Uh, All right. All right, Dion. Show, show us them. Dial covers. Looks like we've finished this round. Show everybody what they got going on. Ooh. Oh, dang. Oh. Yeah, those are all the... Oh, the Death Star one. Yeah. The Death Star one. Oh, that's so good. So good. Oh, wait. I, I need to do the sound effect for Dion. Mwah. Oh, the, the chef's kiss? Oh, yep. man. Uh, the the Scarif gate as well for Scarif? Oh, man. Oh, the Scarif gate Kuwait. is really cool. Uh, Co-op print yards. Uh, exceeding even my high expectations for I, them. I really like that... Uh, what is it? Uh, okay, I, I forget. It's it's the first planet that um, in, you see in Rogue One. Uh, that, Jetta? Uh, nope, not Jetta. It's a, he, he was, you know, farming... What? for um i'm so blanking out on the names right now let me just just look at it real, real quick <laughs> uh, the events coming stuff. oh yeah La, we're, uh... La, lamu lamu yeah mm, okay the, the, the planet where uh Jin Erso's dad and their family went to farm and krennic found them and all that stuff spoiler alert i guess but like geez <laughs> that was like the opening season of the movie <laughs> <laughs> uh those dial covers are for the top eight of 
the uh, qualifiers. So you begin in top eight. Uh, you can get into uh, them beautiful dial covers. Farming, a man of your talents. <laughs> exactly. As a reminder, uh, go to goldsquadronpodcast.com uh, to sign up and get your qualifying um, qualifier tickets. Uh, they're on sale right now. First one is uh, not the next weekend, but the weekend after. Which is May first. And then the opening. Dion pointing out qualifier. top two gets a full set of planet dial covers. And as we Oof. Oof. So no, yeah, I, so that's 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 top two of the final event, right? Give me a that second. is for the championship as well. So you will get so in the qualifier you'll get just your planets, assumingly then and yeah, then, and then if the final you get championship belt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So a little bit of a uh, a finalist prize there. Uh, so still something for um, to to fight for. You know what I mean? All right. Uh, we got time winding down in this one. Uh, of course, uh, Dion still got the uh, Patreon cam up. Gold Squadron or Patreon slash Gold Squadron podcast. Join one of the a group of our largest supporters. And get monthly swag. You can even vote on uh, the Alphabet Squadron things we got coming up as well. Root for your favorite Rebel pilots in the different chassis. Who would so you got... put? So if, if, if you had full reign, who would you put in your Alphabet Squadron alt arts? Uh, I'm taking two tubes for the Y Wing, and, or excuse me, the, the U Wing, wing. and the X Wing. Get the two tubes brothers in there. I want Dutch. Uh, as my Y wing, and I want, uh, I want to, uh, my heart says Jake in the A wing just because I've flown him the most. Um, but I think I, I think I'll take a wild card and go with Hobby as my A wing. And what ship am I missing there? That's all of them, right? A X B with the B wing. Oh, the B wing. Oh, it, it's ten num, of course. Always okay. ten. So good. I mean, those are some old school ones, so like maybe you want to throw in some new school dudes, but you know me. I mm -hmm. like my tubes. I like my 10. If your ability at any point in time allows you to K-turn multiple rounds in a row, I'm in on you. Whatever, whatever it is. All right, so it looks like we have a thermal detonator there from Kyle. Um, mm -hmm. Kanan banks over to... Or banks over Hera, right into that bomb range there. Great placements. Bombs may come in very key. I mean, we already saw obviously with Fenrao, they were really really good. Yeah, may four also points already. Lead, may also lead to the death of uh, Kanan as well. Mm -hmm. But so that I believe that was a boost from Kyle there. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Just opting in to not take shots. Three turn over the gas cloud for Bosk. Kind of what you have to do. Not much else on other places to go. Yeah, and then this, this boss um, had a great uh, string of attacks in the beginning. Um, but now, in, as we reach the end game, really struggling to get Ark on anything. It's, mm -hmm. kind, of the, it's kind of the problem with them ships, as, as, as expected. Uh, Hair focuses. So I think it has Bosk and Arc. So, all right, nope. got the thermal. What's in the box? Man, what if we get a third crit? No, we don't. That's a hit. It's like, what if we get like all the thermals mm, get crits? Oh my god! <laughs> it's just uh, it's so, so sad. So Kanan's on one. Does have a. Uh, I, Probably one dice attack coming from Kyle. No, these are so, gonna be full. Uh, Kanan does not have the arc pointed at Bosk. Um. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm saying if Kyle shoots at him, he can spin the force. Oh yeah. No, I I think the Moldy Crow arc might even have Bosk. I think you just everyone shoots Bosk, right? Bosk oh yeah. Yeah. For the obstruction. Oh, yeah. Boss takes one. One more left. 
Can you take the big beast down? Yeah, Skull unfortunately not having oh, excuse me. Not having a lot of shots here. Uh, that boost from Kyle, I think he actually boosted him out of Boss Arc, which is pretty cool cool for him. Oh, and there's it means the he's timer. got the side arc. It means he's got the front arc. No, shoot a Bosk. Shoot a Bosk. Yeah, don't shoot a one dice attack. I mean, this is kind of a victory shot here, as the Rebels are already won with the timer going out and yeah. no scum. So. And Kanan will be safe. Kanan lose. Okay. So final score ends up being uh, Aaron 134. Uh, Thomas, 90. Give him the GGs in the... Uh, I was like, 6-6. Six, six. What is he drawing? Oh, it's a GG. <laughs> Give the GG. Oops. GG. Thanks, you guys. Um, so, yeah. Just a, just a uh, clinic here of the new interactions between Hawks and A-Wings. Uh, a fantastic match and yep. uh, goes to the rebels and just realizing there are so many interactions to, <laughs> to follow both for the players and the commentators to make sure we're all caught up um this is how it is no i mean we've, we've certainly i mean this might be a pot more of a podcast discussion thank you to here. iso danko baffle trojan prophet shadow tycho spice raider Lancer and Fallen, our Grand Admiral patrons, and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold Squadron out.